Hey guys, this is Grenade Launcher 101 here, back at with Splinter Cell Chaos Theory for the original Xbox made backwards compatible with the Xbox 360. This is the bathhouse mission. Um, like I said in the previous video, this mission is hard, just as much as Soul was. Um, <clears throat> well, only in like the last third of this level anyway okay. the most the rest of it is like smooth sailing but um well yeah with not much left to say let's get to it shinjuku district bathhouse tokyo japan douglas shetland is in tokyo and planning to meet with an unknown party to sell off the last of the information displays gathered from zerkezi and morganhold Shetland's partners must be identified, and Shetland must be stopped. What do you mean the attack came from Japan? They're our allies! Mr. President, these attacks represent the most sophisticated application of information warfare ever imagined. The missile launch came through Japan, yes. But it seems likely it was triggered by elements of a private security operation. Displace International. Displace? That's Doug Shetland's outfit. We have contracts with them. Who's Shetland? Former Marine Recon, among the very best. He was one of my top candidates for third echelon a few years ago. No love loss for the military or the United States. Rumors that we hung him out to dry for political reasons over an incident that wasn't his fault. We speculate as to what his agenda is. Well, how do we defuse the situation until we know? Maybe the Chinese can help. Gotcha. <laughs> Bit creepy, but okay. Echelon tracked down Duck Shetland in Tokyo six hours ago. He's mobile and he's wireless. And from what we've managed to decrypt, it looks like he's about to wrap up his business with whoever his Japanese contacts are. From what we've managed to pick out of the air, it looks like he and his men are about to converge on a bathhouse in the middle of the city. We need to find out who Shetland is meeting with, and do everything we can to prevent him from closing his deal. Clearly the attack that crippled the Walsh and force launched the missile from the battery went through Seoul, but it originated in Japan. Shetland has something to do with it, and my line into the display servers shows that he's definitely profiteering on this war. In order to shut down his operation and prevent any further escalation, we need to ID his business partners and make sure they don't leave there with any more of Zerkezi's weaponized algorithms. Fisher, the bathhouse where this meeting is going down is a semi-public place. There will be civilians in there, and probably a boatload of goons. Shetland's men seem to be popping up all around Tokyo in the last hour or so, and converging simultaneously on the location. Frances Cohen has been in Asia for the last few months, and she's found some ties between the bathhouse ownership and a Japanese criminal organization known as the Red Nishin. It's possible that they are Shetland's partners. Now that sounds real shady. Anyways, we're going to do the stealth loadout here. People would say... Most people would probably do Raiden's recommendation for this mission, but there's a way around this with the stealth loadout. Now once you get to the start of the level, just make an on make a save file here. Here we go. Fisher, I just got a request from Frances Cohen. What does she need? She's been trying to get a man inside the bathhouse for a long time to keep tabs on the Red Nishin. She wants to know if you can tap the phone lines in and around the building. Francis? Of course I can. There. Good work, Fisher. That's the first phone line. See if you can tap into the rest. <laughs> Be quick about it. Stand to the barrel. No, get it. I think there must be a broken sewer main back there. Worst part is you can smell it inside, too. Of 
quick save here. Might hit to uh, change controls here at some point. What? Yeah, some kind of foundation problem. All of Tokyo is sinking, you know. Tokyo is the city, idiot. The airport is sinking. Whatever. Close it up. Okay, so. Um, I'm pretty sure that one of these guys will look in your direction when their conversation is done and then they go off and do their own thing. So what I'm going to do here is look to see what they do. That guy over there definitely... Oh, what the hell? Hold on. You know what? I'm unplugging this real quick. Because that's just getting ridiculous at this point. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Yep, so we're definitely going to have to OCP this light up here. Don't make so much noise, because then somebody will hear you. You don't want that to happen. Just a reminder, Sam. You'll have some civilians in the bathhouse. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Be more than careful. Be kind to them. Yes, sir. Central, this is seven. I finished the basement. All clear. Now you can either wait here for him to turn around or just turn this way right here then just before he does turn the lights. And honestly, yeah, okay. this route is Seven better. Out. What is that? Damn it. Messed up. What was that I just heard? Yep. What the? Mm -hmm. Maybe go to his side. Hold on. Just. Hmm. I'm gonna have to start over. Sorry to waste your guys' time. That was really I just stupid. Got a request from Francis Cohen. What is she need? She's been trying to get a man inside the bathhouse for a long time to keep tabs on the red nation. 
She wants to know if you can tap the phone line. Okay. You know what? Mm. Hold on. Maybe I can find a way around this. Don't I'm not get... sure about this. Am I seeing things? Okay. Fuck. Oh. You know what? I'm changing controllers because this shit is getting annoying. Okay, so now we got past him. Don't make the mistakes that I made. There's a... If you see that table right there, go on that side and around him when he's standing right there. That's all I'm going to say about that. Moving forward. Expensive suits cut wide in the shoulders. They're packing for sure. Exactly. I make sure. Did I just see something? Makes sense. Doug knows how to stay discreet when it's necessary. When you get up to this point, just quick save. This meeting with, you'll need to head up into the private offices. Check upstairs to the north of your position and past reception. On my way. Make sure when you go through here, no one is looking in your direction. Because someone can easily spot you. If you're not careful, that is. Now you can go through the crawl space here. Because you have to hack a computer anyways just to mess with the security system. Secure. Yeah, might be some red mission guys up in the private rooms, but I didn't disturb them. How about the front? It's tight. A truck is blocking the alley, and I sent the guys unloading it for a coffee break. Which guys? Just some guys. Worker guys. What? You just said, hey, what? Are you... <laughs> Action! Damn. That was stupid. Ah, uh, you didn't even give me enough time. On my way. Curious. Whoops. He saw me, didn't he? I think he did. On my way. Okay. Come on.
on my way. That was stupid. On my way. I'm just going to quick save here because I don't want to have to do that all over again. Plus, all the fuck ups I'm making at this point is just ruining my flow. Alright, here we go. Upstairs secure? Yeah. Might be some red mission guys up in the private rooms, but I didn't disturb them. How about the front? It's tight. A truck is blocking the alley and sent the guys unloading it for a coffee break. Which guys? Just some guys. Worker guys. What? You just said, hey, why don't you guys take a break and they get hit that way? Well, I gave them a hundred thousand yen. Oh, okay. Okay, so once you're done with that, click save here. Because um but two guys out they're talking can do different things and you just never know what they're going to do yeah. well don't forget to expense that lady bring up here no yeah. kidding yeah. am i sick um yeah no kidding turn on your thermal vision Make sure neither of these guys are looking in your direction. Well, him, you're going to follow up to the stairs anyway. Ma mainly him that goes out through this door. I need to worry about in that regard. What the fuck? That guy is the one who goes out there by the door. Let's wait for him. To go by the stairs. Now we can follow him up to the stairs. This time, stay to his left. Because he's going to turn to his right. And depending on if he looks to his right, he can see you, and you don't want that. Then stick to this wall right here. And stay in this corner until these guys move. Then if you want to, quick save here. Because down at the end of the hall, you have to put in a keypad code. And I don't really remember the code to.
But if you put in the keypad code, you won't really get suspicious of it. Unlike when you hack the keypad code. Actually, let me look this up right now. Well, I'm moving to my Chromebook the road. Let's watch this guy's um, pattern right here. Now, if you're going to sit right here, make sure that guy is not coming up the stairs. Then make your way to the door up here. Hold on one second. Right. Sorry to waste your guys' time. But I had to do this in order to figure things out. Because I don't remember what the code is. Three six five zero. Let's try it. Three six five zero. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Uh, this time I'm just going to follow that guy from behind. Make sure when you do follow him, he does not look behind you. Then get to his right. Then he's going to turn his right in a 180 degree angle. And when that happens, get in this corner right here with the plant. Then wait for him to go back. Then 3650. Once you get up to this point, click save. And then, you're just going to go right into the air vent. Because there's ISDF troops in the next room over. What is ISDF doing here? I'm not exactly sure, but we still need to find out how the red mission is involved. The owner's computer, next. It's in the office you just went through. Got it. Shepard's meeting in the private baths in the back of the bathhouse in a little while. Who's he meeting? Red mission from the looks of it. Cohen was right. The bathhouse owner is pretty high up in the Japanese mob. But if the ISDF is here? Maybe Shetland's Yakuza buddies are planning to sell him out. I'm gonna go spy on Shetland's meeting before the ISDF gets too excited and tries to take him down. Seems interesting how dialogue gets improvised like that, depending on which objective you do first. Like, I went and looked at the one of the computers in there first before looking at the main one over here. And that changed my dialogue completely. But um, quick save here, because you're going to need it to go back on if anything happens. But you also need it because you're gonna have to like, either go down the stairs or 
go through this passageway with the window that you had to jump out of. This one is probably easier because that way you won't get, you won't have anyone catch a glimpse of you. That, I, I did not get close enough to the window. That was my mistake. Probably gonna have to give that some time then. So I guess wait until he's in a compromised position. Then we can jump out the window. Then once you fall from the roof, quick save here. through here, the enemy still could be coming down the stairs, so if he is, just wait a moment for him to go back up, and then the other guy outside, you wait for him to have his back to you when you go through the door, these guys can literally do different things, keep in mind of that, so depending on what those two are doing, you may have to like improvise. It's very important. So, since the civilian is going through this door, we had to leave through here. Make sure when this guy gets up, he's not looking in your direction, because it will be really stupid if he does. Oh, oh, oh. Careful. Because if that window opens up, you're pretty much screwed in terms of ghosting. Now wait until these two have their backs to you. And get over here. Quick save because most likely one of the guys will see you. You never know. But that, um... Illuminated spot is enough for you to get spotted So just be sure that you're in a dark enough spot for going through there Quick save here.
And what you're gonna do here is, well, obviously find a dog spot into the wall and use sticky candle right here to distract the guard. Once he passes by you, get into this dark strip right here. Eventually, he's gonna go like walking down that doorway right there. So give him enough time to disregard the sticky camera. The then you can pick that up. Once he goes to the doorway, be, stay in this dark spot. You can try and get past him while he's through the other doorway leading to the pool, but most likely he will end up coming back. Let's try it anyway. Fuck. We're gonna try it anyways, just to see what he does. Damn it! All right, here we go. Let's just stay right here then. This part of the light right here does not leave you in the light, so just wait until he turns the other way. Then you can basically just cast him without him seeing you. Now quick save here. Just so you don't have to do that all over again. Because it can get real annoying after a while. <sighs> then, we're just going to go through this piece of cloth right here. Don't worry about anyone noticing it. Because they're just going to disregard it. Most likely, no one will notice it. Because that guard basically does not come back through here. Now through here... Turn this off, then go through, Something's up here. and get through this as quickly as, po as quickly and as stealthily as possible. Make sure no one is looking in your direction especially, then get that second phone line right there. Quick save here. Because most likely one of the guards will end up seeing you. Go, Sam. Code says there's one more we'll phone line you'd like you to tap. So yeah, you don't end up turning back around. We're doing some space. Give this guy some space as well. And slowly back away from him, or move up away from him, rather. Well, it makes no difference.
But we gotta wait for these guys to have their backs to you. They're going to have a conversation. Whoa. Then, me there for a second. at some point, the room might the steam up. Something goes down and connects to a possible fight. Night vision, night vision doesn't help in this crowd. If they have their backs to you, you can basically leave, just like that. Yeah, unfortunately, since Mogadishu, I don't hear so good. You were with me, Mogadishu? Uh, no, I was, uh, kind of working for General ID. But only indirectly. Oh. Forget I asked. Okay. Well, now that he saw me, well, now that, or now that he is looking in my direction, I have to basically wait another minute before actually going out here in the pool section so if this happens to you guys just quick save right here So you have enough time to wait before he turns around and then these guys have their backs to you. You know, I'm gonna wait until that guy is done doing his job right there. He got lucky because he had his side to me. As long as both of them, them or one of them has their side and the other having his back to you, you should be good to go to the next area. Now here you're definitely going to want a quick save. Because not only is there not only is there an enemy in the next room, but there's also a turret you have to deal with as well. What's that? Yeah, bad timing. Okay. 
Here we go. Let's turn this valve right here so we got more steam than usual. So that it should be hard for him to see. Now we gotta turn this off. Now, look around to see if the enemy is there. And we see him right there, so we gotta wait for him to get back up. Then do his thing. Then we can go in this next room over. And then in the next room is where the last phone line is at. Make sure there's no enemies looking from over there at that point. If there isn't, you, you can easily pass through this. Again, look to make sure no one is looking from that point. Then get right up through here. Quick save. Because you're going to need to do it. In order to get by him and unnecessary progression loss. or unnecessary loss of progress, rather. But, either way it works. What the shit? Okay. Are you going to do the same thing to me again? Like you did in the PS2 version. If Who's only that? I... The fuck? <laughs> I was being so stupid, I had no idea. What up? Just wait for him in general. Then wait for... What the fuck? Okay. Now when he gets over here, he's either going to turn around, or turn his head, or just keep moving up. What's that? You never know either way, so you just gotta pay attention to him before moving forward. Ugh. Alright, 
He moves up, move through here. Make sure this guy here is not looking. And if he is, just wait. Quick save here because getting through that air vent is tricky. Not only is there a candle lit, you can easily like diffuse it, but there's also enemies on the other side of this hall right here. So here we go. Turns out there's a bed. Is someone moving or? There's a vent that comes out in the meeting room. ISDF makes me nervous. Make sure the vent is clear of any surveillance gear. Yes, sir. Be quick about it. The meeting will start soon. I'm on it. All right. So wait for these guys to do their thing. Now, while you're waiting for him to go back to his original position, it would be wise to make a save file right here because from this point on things do get chaotic excuse me alright Wait for him to cross the walk for then get up on the walk board. Make the save file again here while you're up and not in the water. So it's much easier to do to um just a deal so you don't have to deal with that whole process then wait till he's to his side if he doesn't see you go through this vent now don't move any farther than this because if you do someone can potentially spot you Lambert, ISDF is in the building are they making their move don't clear Your algorithms in about four minutes. 
That meeting is over. Just get into his laptop right here. Chaos theory. That's the boss objective for this mission. Then from there, it's gonna get chaotic. Now just follow along with what I do. If it doesn't work for you and you end up getting a rating minus, then just improvise. Okay. Don't Okay, hold on. Let me get back to you guys on that. Guys, so um, basically, um, I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my second save here, cause, hold on, um. I'm going to put my second save here because, um, I need it just in case that, um, well, just so I don't have to listen to that meeting all over again, but mainly, I'm just going to be quiet for the most part. speak for itself from here on out.
got past all four of those guys without being spotted then you should be good to go that's all i got to say from here we'll let the statistics doesn't have to end like this sir. tell the truth no but it does have to end that we agree we've been fighting their dirty little wars our entire lives and where do we end up staring at each other down the barrels of our guns nothing has changed Bishop. and i won't change my degrees Tear it down, start over, it's the only way. Your own little chaos theory, you throw the world into war and hope that what comes out the other side is better. It will be better. Because this war will change things, Sam. Every other war has been about keeping things the same, but the status quo doesn't work anymore. America's sick, Sam. She's dying. The politicians, the bureaucrats, the whispered backroom deals, it's all life support for a sick old lady who was dead a long time ago. The only backroom deals that I've seen lately made by you. You're a murderer and a war criminal. Those are the only names the state has for the revolutionary, Sam. You only become a hero after the war is over. You know the truth. The world is built from the bottom up, not the other way around. Honor, courage, fidelity. We don't inherit these things from the world, Sam. We build the world from them. I know you. You believe in these things more than any government. And I know that because of it, you wouldn't shoot an old friend. Moment of truth.
Okay. <clears throat> wow. That turned out better than I expected. Uh, though I could have sworn I'd been identified as an intruder at the beginning there. Um, <clears throat> I guess it'll only really happen if... Um, If someone notice you, notices you, then sh start shooting at you on purpose. But, you know what? I'll take it. And, uh, at least nobody noticed me when I tried going to the side where I had the doorway leading to the laptop that had the bonus objective. Which, I think, hold on. Did I? Yeah, hack Shetland's computer. So, yeah, um, if you guys, uh, just pay attention to, if you guys were watching the way I handled that last section there, with the whole chaotic stuff that was happening and whatnot, by the way, I have, like, practiced, I have tried recording this section, like, at least five plus times today. And none of them have been successful as this right here. <clears throat> so, um, that is mission nine, everyone. That is the bath, the bath house. That is the bath house mission right there. That is the second most chaotic mission, uh, in this game ever made. Besides Soul, anyways. But, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed these Ghost Run series. I hope that all of what I showed you in this particular part right here has helped you out. If it has, then you're, well, then you're very welcome. Because this really does get chaotic from the moment that meeting starts to happen. <clears throat> Shetland definitely had a feeling that Sam Fisher was coming. He knew it. He just knew it from the start. You could tell. But anyways, on to the next and final mission, Kokubo Social.